What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are taking a look at the new European club attackers. Cruyff, Stoichkov, and of course, Francesco Totti. So Cruyff is probably the big one, right? We just have a little trailer here just to kind of talk about these cards. I'll give you a full disclaimer, lads. I have just never been able to use Cruyff. I don't know what it is about him. It's kind of like Rafael Leao. I know a lot of people go on about Rafael Leao and they say that he's an absolute beast. This cry for me looks like the best that they've ever released because of the deep line forward. I'm thinking of like kind of like Santos Neymar style. Francesco Totti, again, another player that I haven't really used. He's down as an AMF, very good stats, and obviously with the double booster, you can boost him up. I don't think Totti's going to change the dial too much though. I think that there's just too many attacking midfielders. If you've got an attacking midfielder working for you, I would say save your coins, but we will show you his build and we'll show you the kind of like the style that he can use in your squad, right? And then we have Stoichkov. Now, I have Stoichkov on a couple of different accounts. I have him on my free to play. We got him in a lucky spin. Um, we have him on our other profile as well. Um, so I think that this is probably the one that you are not going to go for, especially if you've got your center forwards. Honestly, if you're pushing rank, you're going to have a very specific kind of forward setup, right? But those are the three boys there, okay? They're, of course, on the back of the World Player of the Year. So I do think that the World Player of the Year, looking at it that way, kind of Cruyff and Rodri cancel each other out, and then Totti and Bellingham, it's kind of a mix-up. Vinny probably gets the, the, the advantage over Stoichkov there, right? So we're going to just go in and show you their player cards, and then we're going to show you the builds, right? So straight away, we have here with these par uh, players here, Johan Cruyff, he's down as a deep line forward, right? I'm actually going to hide my webcam here a sec just to show you, right? So with his booster in effect here, he can play left wing, right wing, center forward, SS or AMF, but he is down as a deep line forward. What is a deep line forward? Well, the player as a center forward is going to come kind of into the attacking midfielder, into a kind of like a classic number 10, kind of like that Lampard kind of box role, looking for kind of getting in, you know, and linking up play, right? But also it's kind of like a false nine as well in terms of the way that the AI is working now is very different than when the game first launched. They haven't updated the definitions of deep line forward or whole player or classic number 10, but they have changed the AI. Now, the thing about Cruyff here that I think is nice is that he has phenomenal pass, okay? He's got excellent player skills. Obviously, you've got flip-flap off the rip. You throw a double touch on him and, of course, soul control. I would definitely put those two skills on him. And then the phenomenal pass is going to handle all his lack of passing. Even though he's got 80 low passing, you don't really need to train that up for the build that we're going to go with, right? So as I said, Santos Neymar is probably one of the best deep line forwards they've ever released for free. This Cruyff is kind of like a premium version of that in terms of stats, right? So we'll have a look at his build here in a second. We also have Totti here as well as a creative playmaker with his booster, 33 levels. Uh, looks pretty decent, has the technique plus two booster there as well. Knuckle shot, long range shooting, first time shot, phenomenal finishing. It's kind of a mix in the match, right? I think that in fairness, I thought that Cruyff should have phenomenal finishing, and Totti should have phenomenal pass, maybe they mixed it up, maybe they kind of gave the wrong one to the wrong player, but yeah, Totti has a lot more uh, passing going on about him, but they still have both 80 low pass, but obviously those two extra levels in Totti are going to be nice, Totti's not going to be that fast, but he has every single stat that you could possibly want into the 90s, we'll get to him in a second, and then last but not least, we have Stoichkov here with his base stats as a uh, 35 level center forward, again, another very, very solid card, the balance is a little bit low, um, but the rest of his player skills are nice. He has area superiority, he's acrobatic finishing, he's got heading, dip and shot, long range curler, outside curler, fighting spirit, um, first time shot. He doesn't have one touch pass or chip shot control, which I think is a bit of a bit of a pity on this card. But um, yeah, I mean, let's go over and we'll start with Stoichkov and work away in. So this is the build that we've gone for with Stoichkov, or this is what we this is what we're thinking, right? I, I don't think that he needs 90 type possession. Obviously, he's just a little bit lacking in one of those stats but this card as a center forward goal poacher you want his attack and awareness up as close to 95 as possible you want his ball control dribbling type position up at 90 each but he's not going to hit all those targets if you want his his kicking power his acceleration and his balance all into that area as well now what you could do is as well if you don't want his kicking power this high you actually could take uh, two off lower body you're still going to have 91 speed you're still going to have that stamina at 82 you're still going to have 88 kicking power and of course, you could just use those into the dribbling there if you wanted to go that route as well. And of course, that's going to be your 90 tight possession, 90 balance, 90 finishing, 85 curl or 86 curl, 96 acceleration, 90 plus attack and awareness, ball control, dribbling, tight possession and speed. Um, it's a very solid card, right? And that is the build that we had there for him. Uh, just to go through a quick 8-0, 10, 12, 8. Very, very easy build. 
For Toddy, if you're playing him as an attacking midfielder here, he has 64 progression points. Now, with Toddy, lads, I definitely would be giving him these skills. Double touch, long range curler, rising shot, acrobatic finishing. Depending on where you're playing him, he has pretty much everything else that you could possibly want. Gamesmanship could be thrown on there as well. Um, it would probably make a little bit of a difference to him. But yeah, I mean, it's all about with Toddy here and how I'm going to how I'm gonna train him up is going to be slightly different. So we'll show you the build. So that is the build we've gone for, for Toddy. If we're playing him as a kind of a pass first, finish kind of second, pass and move, run and gun style creative playmaker. We've overcompensated probably by a little bit with the actual passing. I mean, some people are saying, you know, 95 low pass. Some people are saying 90 low pass. We've gone for a 90 lofted pass, 92 low pass, 90 finishing build. If you don't shoot that often with your attack midfielders, or if you play three up front, you don't need 90 finishing on your attack midfielders unless you shoot a lot. And also, this build is very much so dependent on giving him the agility booster, which is going to boost up his acceleration, his balance, his stamina, and his speed. You're not going to get to 90 on all of these stats, but the main stats that he has as a creative playmaker are going to be hit, right? So it's, it's a nice card. It's a very, very solid card. And then last but not least, we have Johan Cruyff. Now, Cruyff is probably the easiest to train, but it depends on how you want him. The big thing I will say about Cruyff is his attack and awareness, right? And that kind of is dependent on his attack and awareness. But for this, I do think, again, agility as his booster, the extra booster that you're going to be giving him in his booster slot two. Agility plus one to that is going to give his acceleration, his balance and stamina boost. Stamina up to 85. Balance at 95 threshold. You're going to have 96 acceleration, 92 speed, or 97 acceleration. Kick and power 85. Jump in 86. Physical contact 80. And again, lads, this build here, man, that you're seeing here, like, there is no weakness in these cars that they're bringing out now. Eight shooting, three passing, six dribbling, ten decks, seven into lower body, six into aerial strength, and then one into goalkeeper, one for the jumping boost. I, honestly, man, there is no weakness in these cards anymore. It's all how these cards handle. Sometimes these handles, like, you know, handle like a Ferrari. Sometimes they handle like trucks. It just depends on a lot of other factors, you know, servers, balancing. But obviously, these cards, from an actual visual, visual point of view, in terms of their stats on the screen, they literally have no weakness, man. I mean, as a deep line forward here, you are hitting attacking awareness, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, finishing, curl, speed, acceleration, balance, all. There's going to be nine stats that are 90 plus, and a lot of those stats are going to be like 93, 94. So it's insane, man. It's insane. Now, as for the skills on this uh, Cruyff card, again, it depends on how you're going to play him. I definitely think double touch and soul control. Obviously, first time shot is there as well if you want to do that. Chip shot control as well. I really do like deep line forwards. I, I actually do like them, but I've never been able to play with Cruyff, so I'm looking forward to testing him out. We will be live streaming in just a couple of minutes with all of these players, so make sure that you have a look at the stream, check in on us, see how we're getting on, and uh, if you guys have a better build or you want to just ask a few more questions, we'll see you in the live stream. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in a few minutes. Peace.